Hey, welcome to edX World and another video in the IGCSE accounting series. The entire syllabus of IGCSE accounting has already been covered. You can check all the topics in the playlist. Through these videos, I am trying to solve as many as possible examples. These examples will help you to solve the questions in the exam. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you don't miss, miss out on any video. So today's topic that we're going to do is depreciation. We'll prepare the asset account. We will prepare the provision for depreciation account and also the disposal account. This is one topic where I feel students really feel underconfident because they, they think that depreciation is difficult, but it's not difficult at all. I would suggest you to first go and watch the three videos in the IGCSE playlist that I've put up on depreciation. In these videos, I have explained clearly the meaning of depreciation, the journal entries, the sequence of entries, solved examples are there, disposal entries are also there and then come and try to solve the question that will be there on your screen on your own. Then go and play the video ahead, look at the solution, understand my calculation, see where is it going wrong, learn from your mistakes and I'm sure after doing a few questions on depreciation you will get the trick. So this is the question that I have for you. A trader depreciates business machinery using reducing balance method at 20% rate and business equipments at straight line method using 10% rate. So both the assets will be depreciated using different rates, different methods. Depreciation on new assets will be provided from the date of purchase till the year ending date. It means the date of purchase is important for new assets. If we are using the asset, let's say for just three months during the year, we will provide depreciation only for three months in the first year, not the entire year. But no depreciation will be provided in the year of disposal. So in the year of disposal, let's say you use the asset for three, four months before disposing of, you will not provide any depreciation for that part of the year. Balances are given for machinery, equipment and the provision accounts. Details of new asset purchases are given for machinery and for equipment. And then disposal in information is given for machinery, which we will consider when we'll prepare the machinery account. So they want us to prepare machinery account, provision for machinery account, sorry, provision for depreciation on machinery account, machinery disposal account, and for equipment, the equipment account and the provision for depreciation on equipment account. Let us directly head to the ledger accounts. And when doing the accounts, I will read the information again and tell you what values will appear at what places in the accounts. So we have our machinery account here. If you read the question, it says that the following balances appeared on 1st Jan in the books of trader. Machinery is given at 65,000 and provision for depreciation on machinery is given at 18,500. These are opening balances. Machinery will have a debit balance of 65,000 and provision for depreciation will have a credit balance of 18,500. So let us record the opening balances in these accounts first. So on the debit side of machinery account, year would be 2021, Jan 1. And opening balance will be recorded as balance brought down of 65,000. And on the credit side of provision for depreciation account, year 2021, Jan 1st, balance, balance brought down again, 18,000. 500. In the opening balances have been brought forward. We will now record the purchases of new assets for machinery. If you read the question on 1st March, machinery purchased was 22,500 and the payment was done by check. This would be recorded on the debit side of the machinery account on 1st March. So debit side March 1. Since payment is by check, the details would be bank and the amount would be 22,500. The other purchase of equipment on 1st August will be recorded in the equipment account. Next paragraph speaks about disposal of machinery. On 31st October, trader disposed of some unit, sorry, one unit of machinery, which was originally acquired for 12,500. It means that the original cost of the machine was 12,500. If you remember the entries of disposal, Whenever an asset is disposed of, the original cost of that asset is removed from the asset account and transferred to the disposal account. In other words, whenever you purchase an, purchase an asset, it will be recorded on the debit side of asset account. Whenever you dispose of the asset, you will record a reversal entry on the credit side of the asset account with the same amount, which is the original cost. So on the credit side, 
2021 October 31 and the account that I'll be using here is machinery disposal account. Remember one thing that very commonly students would write here the sale value which is incorrect. You need to remove the original cost from this account and the original cost is 12,500. It is very common to see students recording 5,200 here which is the sale value of the asset. But that's incorrect. So let us first balance the machinery account and then we would go ahead and finish our provision account. If I want to balance my machinery account, I will take the total on the debit side as 87,500. Again, 87,500. And December 31, which is the year ending date. Balance carried down. 75,000. And the same balance would be brought forward in the next year. Jan 1st, balance brought down. 75,000. Going to our provision account. See, there are... Four entries in provision account, opening and closing balances obviously. Apart from that, one entry on the credit side to record the annual depreciation and one entry on the debit side to remove the accumulated depreciation on the asset that is disposed of. In other words, the asset that we sold, which originally costed 12,500, we must have provided some depreciation over the years after we bought it. That depreciation is now remaining in the provision for depreciation account when the asset is disposed of. The accumulated depreciation on that asset has to be removed from this account and transferred to machinery disposal account. In some cases, the amount is directly given. But here, amount is not directly given, but they've given you the date of purchase. Using the date of purchase and the rate and the cost and all the details, we will calculate the accumulated depreciation on this particular asset, which is 12,500 cost. We will see how much depreciation has been provided until 1st Jan 2021. So, the asset was purchased on 1st April 2019. The cost was 12,500. For machinery, we are following 20% reducing balance method and that too in the year of purchase only for the number of months that the asset was used. The depreciation will be provided for those many months. So, let's start calculating our depreciation. For 2019, our depreciation will be 12,500. Sorry into 20%. If you count from 1st April to 31st December, you would get 9 months. So into 9 by 12. If I do it on calculator, I'll get 1875. In 2020, since this is reducing balance, our formula would be rate into net book value. So my rate is 20%. Net book value would be my original cost 12,500. Minus my depreciation till that date on that asset, 1875. If you subtract, find the net book value, multiply it by 20%, you would get 2125. This is 2021. We were passing entries for 2021. So there's no point. There's no question of calculating depreciation for 2021. So the total depreciation for 2019 plus 2020, that which will be the accumulated depreciation, 1875 plus 2125, if you do add, you'll get $4,000. It means 4000 has been already depreciated on that particular asset and that 4000 is included in this 18500 opening balance. So, our next step is to reverse and remove this 4000 from this account. So, 2021, October 31. Again, the account that would be used for this is machinery disposal account, 4000. Our next entry would be at the year end. We would have to provide fresh depreciation for that year. So income statement. Let's calculate the depreciation first. Now here there are two parts to understand. First is the opening balance of the asset that is being held and second the new asset that is being purchased. We will calculate depreciation on them separately, add it and then write it. Why are we calculating separately? Because on the new asset we need to do the month calculation. We cannot give full year's depreciation. If month's calculation is not required, then you could do in total. You could take the opening and the new together. Give or do one single calculation and write the amount. But when the month's calculation is important, you need to do it separately, add it and then write it against the income statement. So let us talk about our opening balance first. Now opening balance, if you see, 
my opening balance was 65,000. But since this is reducing balance method, I'm not interested in the cost, I'm interested in the net book value. And my opening accumulated depreciation was 18,500. If you deduct this, you would get 46,500, which is the opening net book value. But out of this 46,500, we've already sold an asset. Now, the net book value of that asset has to be removed from this 46,500 because it is obvious we cannot give depreciation on the asset that is disposed of. How much would be the net book value of the asset that is disposed of? Take the cost, 12,500. We've calculated accumulated depreciation 4,000. So the net book value would obviously be 12,500, the cost, minus 4,000, depreciation, 8,500. So I'll deduct 8,500 here. And here I would get is 38,000, which is the net book value of the remaining opening assets. This 38,000, we will multiply it by 20%. So when you multiply 38,000 by 20%, we will get 7,600. So that's the first part of our depreciation calculation. Okay, now a new asset is purchased. Now the new asset cost is 22,500 multiplied by 20%, obviously. Now ask yourself, for how many months has the asset been used in 2021? It was purchased on 1st March and it was used until 31st December, 10 months. So into 10 by 12. If you do the calculation, you would get 3750. So I'll come back to my ledger account and write here 3750. So 7600 plus 3750, 11,350 will be the total depreciation that has to be provided in this account. I hope the calculation is clear. If you still have doubts, you can always post your comments below. Let's take the total because we just need to balance the account now. 18,500 plus 11,350, 29,850 and 29,850. So the closing balance in this account on December 31 would be 29,850 minus the 4,000. So 25,850. And also let's bring down this balance 2022 Jan 1 balance brought down 25,850. Okay, the machinery disposal account is still remaining. So before going to the machinery disposal account, let me pick out the transactions that would be recorded in that account. First, if you see here in the machinery account, machinery disposal account is credited. So this 12,500 would be recorded on the debit side of machinery disposal account. In the provision for depreciation account, this 4,000 is debited as machinery disposal. So obviously this 4,000 will be credited in the machinery disposal account. Apart from this, we will record the sale value that has been received when the asset was sold 5,200 cash and then the difference in that account will be either profit or loss. So let's go ahead and finish our machinery disposal account. So on the debit side, 2021, all dates on the date of disposal, sorry, all entries will be on the date of disposal. So on the debit side, we will have machinery 12,500 on the credit side. Again, October 31, provision for depreciation on machinery account, 4,000. I already explained these two entries in the previous account. Now, we will record our sale value. See, when the asset is sold for cash, cash would be received, cash debit, machinery disposal credit. So, credit side, cash of 5,200. The difference in this account will either go as profit or loss. If the debit is greater than the credit, it's a loss. If the credit is greater than debit, it's a profit. Here clearly the debit side is greater than the credit side. So let's take a total 12,500, 12,500. If you deduct the total of the credit side, which is 9,200 from 12,500, you will get the loss on disposal that will be transferred to the income statement as loss on disposal and the loss would be 3,300. I hope the machinery disposal account is clear. And apart from this, you should also know the journal entries to be passed for all these entries. There is an increasing trend by examiners to test students on the journal entries. So make sure you know the journal entries as well. 
Now let's go ahead and do our equipment account and provision for depreciation on equipment account. In our equipment account, there is no disposal. We have opening balances and we have new purchases. So let us record our opening balances. Equipment balance is 22,000. This is obviously on the debit side of equipment account. So 2021 on the debit side as Jan 1 balance brought down. 22,000 and on the credit side of provision for depreciation account 2021 Jan 1 the provision for depreciation on equipment balance given is 6,550 so balance brought down 6,550 new asset is purchased on 1st August 21 value is 4,200 and the transaction was paid by cash so on the debit side of the equipment account on August 1st we will record this purchase of new asset as cash amount would be 4200. There is no disposal, so no other entry in the equipment account. Let's balance the account. So total would be 26,200, 26,200 and 2021, end of the year, December 31, balance carried down 26,200. Also bringing down the balance. Do not forget to bring down the balance, especially if the transaction or the, if, the, if they want you to bring it down, if they've specifically mentioned bring down, please bring down, else you might lose some marks there, even if the entire question is correct. Okay, coming to the provision for depreciation account, there is no disposal, so there is no question of the disposal entry on the debit side. So in this case, we just need to give the additional depreciation on equipment for 2021 and close the account now again equipment i will divide the calculation of depreciation on equipment i'll divide into two parts first we'll do a calculation for the opening balance and we'll do the calculation for the new asset separately again because of the month's calculation so if i do my opening balance now again for equipment we are using a straight line method of 10 percent straight line method the formula is rate into cost here, we will directly do the calculations on the cost. Okay, the opening balance of the asset was 22,000. So, 22,000 into 10%, 2,200. And this is the first part. And the second part is the new asset that was purchased for 4,200 into rate, which is 10%. The asset was purchased on 1st August. If you calculate from 1st August to 31st December, you would get... 5, so 5 upon 12. If you do the calculation, here you would get as 175. So the total depreciation in the account on December 31, the details would be income statement. So opening is 2200 plus 175 for the new one, 2375 total. We will just balance this account now no other transaction so we have 8925 8925 and 2021 December 31 balance carried down 8925 we also have to bring down the balance as a space it's fine but do not forget to bring down the balance if it's mentioned specifically in that case yes you have to do it so I hope the example was clear. I hope the entries were clear. Try practicing more questions in the similar way. I'm sure after three, four questions, if you don't know yet, after three, four questions, you will be able to do it on your own. It's not a difficult topic at all. So here are some MCQs that you can solve and the answers to these MCQs will be given in the description box. If you want the explanation to these MCQs, you're always free to comment in the comment section below. I'll reply there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if yes, please like the video. Please share the video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Many more videos would be coming up in future. I'll see you soon with a new video. Thank you.